You'd be stupid not to let somebody do what he's good at. Or you'd be prideful. Nothing should revolve around a single vision if there are multiple people involved in a process. And that's why so many rising talents get left in the dust. And tell me who would want to work with some slimy brat in the first place if the kid thinks he knows completely what he wants when he's only just gotten his foot in the door. Because when you're an amateur, arrogance, as well as ignorance, does not help you climb the ladder. It just knocks it over. I know I don't have a lot of experience, but I have this friend who's a senior. He's really into dramas and plays and all that stuff. Oh, who is he? Tommy Corona. Never heard of him. Uh, well, he's coming to pick me up in a bit if you want to meet him. Um, we have a project we have to do together. When are you supposed to get your license? Uh, next Thursday. Well, tell me a little bit more about this guy. Is he funny? Hopefully he doesn't improvise a lot. Can he grab people's attention? Why, I've been sitting in the Prius for ten minutes. You Brad? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you at school before, but with nice thick glasses. And sorry about barging in like this, your dad let me to take a piss and borrow some Vaseline. <laughs> so, uh, you ready to go? Wait. I hear you're an actor. Who does Scott think he is? He can't land a single line without improv, and he sounds like Fran Drescher. He came in wearing petunias on his shirt, and his character's a wise guy. Did he even read the script? Of course he did. He's Tommy Crone. You fellas talking about me in there? Uh, it's just some character motivation stuff. That's what we would be actually talking about if this guy wasn't here. Lost at six. Dude. I've worked on this script for months. This is your shot at starting, Marty. I'm sorry. It's a family dinner. Don't just say sorry. I want to make something great. You're doing well, but he's over there sabotaging all my hard work. So when are you going to say something to your friend? When are you going to stop being a perfectionist? Why don't you just let him improvise a little? Well, I'm not going to let him turn my work into some ad-lib train wreck. He's going to say the lines. The books have been taken forever. When you're talking to me, can you actually talk to me? Because you don't need to keep this going off camera. This little mafioso act. <laughs> God, I don't speak Chinese. No, I'm speaking English, Tommy. Oh yeah, it sounds familiar. And the name's Tony with an N, not M's. You are not Tony. That's the character you're playing. A little bit too seriously and a little wrong. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Tommy, there's a script. The script has lines, and you need to recite these lines because so far you're flubbing them because you think you're Marlon Brando or something. Hey, don't you smear this thing! It's done too much for the craft. So what you're saying is what he does is admirable then? Getting way too deep into a role? Look, the character does it, I do it. I am Tony DeSica, hmm? <laughs> okay, then say your lines. Tony, you got that script? Whoa, 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 what am I, a hack? You think I'm some sort of amateur here? I've been in school place for three years straight, okay? I know what I'm doing. I got every single syllable loaded up here. Fine. Ready, and... You know, you've got a really good script there, but you could probably do well with some of my own personal talent. Like, I'm really learned on the method, Stanislavski, stuff like that. Look, if you want to talk method acting, then just consider me a brick wall. Well, I'm sure we'll figure something out on set. Uh -huh. Cut. Tommy! What the crap are you talking about? Oh, give me a break. I'm selling you gold at half the price. Is that the... Is that for the duel at the end? No, this isn't a prop. This is my dad's piece. I don't trust people out in the country. We get this wrapped up, guys. My mom cooked pasta and it's getting cold. You know what, Marty? I would love to shoot your scenes, but Helen Keller over here with her brain dead New York accent won't say my lines. It's the total crap. <laughs> no good. They're just dumb. Pass me the script. Go get my We are in the other room. Just go. Why? Go!
something wrong? <laughs> I mean, we, we just don't got any of the right props for this. Come on. Don't you want to be a film legend? Don't you want to be a success? Well, maybe you just can't handle the lines. No, no. I already got them remembered. And besides, they're better now. Alrighty. It looks like we have enough of your impromptu skill to patch together a rough cut. So start it from the last few lines and that big finale. Okay, Tommy? Talk about I gotta make inside. it home on time. You live seven miles down the road. I wanna help you. I wanna see you be happy and successful. What are you talking about? This is your fourth short film. And just because you took some master class online doesn't make you Spielberg. So don't tell me about success. You don't want success. You're afraid of failure. Like the rest of us. So don't let any director, producer, or Broadway hotshot push your buttons. Be your own man. Do what you want to do, and express yourself as you see fit. I know that thing's not loaded. I wouldn't assume that. Assume that? So tell me, if you're too scared to let someone make up his own lines, how are you going to have the balls to aim a fully loaded gun at? They're blanks. Where's your script, Brad? Because when you're an amateur, arrogance, as well as ignorance, does not help you climb the ladder. 
just knocks it over.